trust her. I don't trust any of these people. I don't want them out. I think, as her attorney said, I think their crimes are bad enough that yes, they should stay in prison for the rest of their lives. Like my sister will stay in her grave for the rest of time and her baby and Abigail Folger. I remember, you know, I, I feel like she's lost, uh, like she has no memory of what happened that night and what she did. And she, she didn't know him. I knew him. I knew Gibby. Does she remember what she, what they looked like? Does she remember when she led my sister down the hallway? What she looked like? She doesn't hardly remember what she did. Did she ever bother to even look at these people? Is she was so bloodthirsty that she just went out and did and was willing to participate obviously in everything that she did do. I've seen the pictures of the aftermath of what she did and the rest of these prisoners did to my sister, to Gibby, to Jay, to Boytek, to the, the kid out in the car. And there's and there's no face with this story. Well, I remember my sister's face, and I remember her belly that stuck out to here. And nothing can be done about it, absolutely nothing, except for my sister and Gibby and all of them paid with their lives. And I think that she should pay with her life in prison. And there should be no question about it. I don't understand these people. I don't understand why we even put them up for parole. I don't know why we sit here. And I 